Hi there, Chris here. Welcome to another edition of Stock Lock Sunday. And I have this um, lock that Cherokee sent me, and it is the Bears Back Yale Challenge Lock. It is a stock lock that he's put together, and I got this a very long time ago. I have to apologize. It, it um, ended up way in the back of the set. And I kind of forgot about it, and so I really need to pick this. So the first thing we see, and Cherokee sent it to me. Um, so you see it has not been opened, and I will open it. And I think the, the box that it comes in is sealed as well. So... into here. Oops. Not good for the cats. Okay. Here we go. Now we're getting in. What a great little box. And it says good luck on it. Written by Cherokee. And there it is. So... How this works is you get what a beautiful lock you get one shot at it um, and then you put put it in here and you uh, see all the people it's it's been sent to and then you put either whipped or picked Wow, Jason Carlson. Miss Jason. Anyway, so let's get into here. So here's the bidding on the key. And this is, like I say, this is a stock lock that he has uh, rearranged the pins in to uh, make it a challenge. And it works quite well. Ooh, there's a little hitch there. Now that is, yeah, see that could keep you out. But let's see if it keeps me out. I don't think it's, I don't think I'm gonna have problems with that. It's the picking aspect. So there's bidding on the key. Um, which keyway is this? Not number two. I wonder if it's the same keyway as this. No. All right, quit screwing around and pick the thing. All right, um, I think it's, you can do anything you want. I think you can just pick it. So I'll try different things. There's about the standard movement on the core. So if I'm getting a new lock in, it's a Yale, I have never picked it, I would, First thing I would do would be stick a rake in it and kind of feel around. And see what that gives me. That's a couple of sets. Um, then I might take my regular favorite Sparrows Euro short hook and poke about. Let's see what I feel. I'm not sure I like this tension wrench in here. Whoops. Not too many sets. Let me 
check this one more time. So you have to really push in on that, and that um, that happens. The most common reason locks end up in my lock uh, hospital is because they have a hitch in there like that. All right. Um, let's try another tension wrench. Got five minutes in here. I haven't even done anything. All right. Let's try this one. I think I'm going to go in with this. Sparrow's double peak. See if I can loosen this baby up. I don't know what you'd call this. I, I'm, I'm kind of rocking, I guess. All right, let's see if I can feel something. I do have a bit of a false set. One and two feel all right. Let's go in the back. I'm gonna try avoid three, I think. I quit talking. hit I think five <coughs> oh, pardon me I got a little bit more of a false set <laughs> my hands getting sweaty I can't <laughs> Picked a few VLs, but God, does it have a mushroom pin in it? I pretty much screwed up my false set there.
Hmm. Let's get a little deeper. Kind of back into a bit of a false set. I'm feeling some sets, but it feels like there's a couple, three nasty, nasty situations in here that make this a tough guy. There's good feedback. I'm trying to find the right tension here, which is a kind of varied tension. Yeah, it does give you a false set. Let's try this double peak again. Do some rocking. somebody who won't set Try one more thing here. Goes in quite smoothly, this key. As you would expect, because it is stock, there's not like funny springs in it or anything. Let's try something else. Maybe I get better feedback this way. And that might help push that core in to get it to set or get it to rotate when, if and when I pick it. Bit of a false set.
think it's three. Starts moving and then it just quits. So maybe it's a mushroom. This is certainly a chase your tail lock. I keep falling out of frame. Uh, what about the echo wave, huh? Really nothing with that. Worm. Let's see. Call it broken in a minute. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, there's one tough little little dude here. Alright, so let me think. When I encounter this in a lock. Um, when you get that good false set and you got one that starts to go and then nothing happens, usually, anyway, for me in my experience, it is another pin, another security pin that is not quite set right. So I'll get the best false set I can and then check everybody really carefully before I go for the, the one where I think the problem is, the holdout. So I'm going to check number one. I'm pretty confident one is good. All right. Can't tell if I set three or not. Four just feels solid. But it also feels low. If I look at the key, if I cheat and look over the key, at the key, as does five. I could be wrong. Been wrong many times. 20 minutes. A 
don't know if I can upload this with all what I got on my phone. <laughs> It's funny because sometimes, like this was working, giving me quick false sets before, but now it's not. Like I say, this is a tricky lock. And really the limit here is how long my hands hold out. <laughs> All right, let's do kind of a standard, my standard procedure, try and set one and then rake. people did um, I know a lot of different people had it <clears throat> with a lot of different picking styles but I can only really do well with my style chance with what I'm most familiar with my style of fairly light tension and going in and out of the all sets Certainly haven't got it figured out, that's for sure. Tension wrenches seems to be the right one for me. <laughs> the lock is hot. <laughs> I'm not. It is. So. Oh, my. Let's 
See, now I can't get my false sets going. Well, let's try my regular. I'm gonna start in the back though, I think. Twenty-seven minutes. I'm surprised my hands have held out this long. Hey, Slinky, come over here and give me some luck. Hmm. Snake rig. Digging a hole in it. So let's see. I think this is um, kind of the longer I go on something, the less productive it seems to be. I mean, I was getting better action in the beginning than I am now. Getting almost no action. I'll try this. Seems if you sit in the front, you're stuck in the back. Can't set those high ones in the back. So that tells me maybe I should go back there first again. about the end of my hands here. Might have to do a whooped. Bear's back, my hat is off to you, buddy. <laughs> you got one <laughs> tough Yale. And with stock pins in it. I'm stuck and the bidding does not look too tough but it can also be deceiving let's make sure it still works one more time come on oh come on. oh yeah it does work this is there's that hitch in there
and I'm not I'm not having the pro you know I don't have the excuse that I'm having a problem with the hitch because when I get really deep fall sets I'm way past that hitch so it ain't that I can't cop to that <laughs> I have to cop to it's whooping me all right pretty much last tries here Hands starting to go. Yeah, like, see there, I'm past that hitch in that false set. So. All right. Let's see if I can bring her home here. really not a ledge to pick off and I usually don't pick off any ledges maybe that's why my hands get fatigued it has nothing to do with age <laughs> all right let's bring this home or call it two three I think I got those back guys, but I can't tell. Okay, I'm going to call it. <laughs> that is one hell of a great lock. All right, so beautiful lock, oh, wonderful. So I will record in the book, whipped, whipped. Okay, my lock is the last guy we had it. Fail. Um, oh, it's January. Oh, dang. What is today? I'm going to leave that till after it so I can look on my phone. Um, 2020. And we're at 35 minutes. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, Cherokee, thank you for sending me this uh, bear's back. <laughs> awesome job, buddy. Uh, we will see you all later.